My name is Tracy Shores and I'm a neuroscientist and professor at Rutgers University. In this video, we present an intervention that enhances brain function and mental health in humans. The intervention is referred to as MAP training because it combines mental and physical training. MAP training was inspired by laboratory research on neurogenesis in the adult brain. Neurogenesis is the production of new neurons, which are the types of cells used by the brain to communicate information. Thousands of these new cells are produced each day in the adult brain, especially in the hippocampus, a brain region necessary for many types of learning. These new cells are produced in a part of the hippocampus known as the dentate gyrus. These cells eventually differentiate into neurons. As noted, thousands of these new cells are generated each day, and even more can be produced in response to aerobic exercise. This photograph shows the dentate gyrus in a hippocampus after exercise. Please note the brown colored objects, which are new neurons. Even though thousands are produced every day, many will die within just a few weeks. Our laboratory has determined that these cells can be rescued from death and will survive indefinitely through effortful learning. Based on these studies, we developed the MAP training intervention. The idea behind the intervention is to increase the number of new cells by aerobic exercise and then keep those cells alive through mental training. For mental training, we chose meditation. Meditation is an effortful learning experience during which one learns to be present in this moment while being less reactive to his or her thoughts and emotions. This is an especially important skill for women to learn because they are more inclined than men to ruminate, repeatedly rehearsing unwanted memories of the past. Of course, all human beings are vulnerable to rumination, and therefore the practice of meditation is an empirically supported and effective training procedure which can enhance mental health in humans from all walks of life. The following segment shows MAP training as practiced by young women in our community. Here they meditate by sitting in silence and counting their breath. Next, everyone engages in 30 minutes of high intensity aerobic exercise. They're also learning new physical skills during training with dance routines similar in concept to the popular Zumba dance program. You all look good. You're just kind of being shy about it. You just gotta push it. Push and out. of the intervention is very important because it also enhances the learning experience. After eight weeks of MAP training twice a week, preliminary data suggests positive outcomes in both mental and physical health. With respect to physical health, we found that the participants consume more oxygen throughout their body after MAP training than before training, as measured by VO2. And with respect to mental outcomes, we found that the participants expressed fewer symptoms of depression as measured by Beck's Depression Inventory and fewer symptoms of anxiety as measured by Beck's Anxiety Inventory. At this time, we don't know whether these outcomes are mediated by an increase in neurogenesis. Nonetheless, we are hoping that others will adopt MAP training as an effective and inexpensive way to increase brain health.